Hey everybody. Um, so today I'm going to teach you how to replace a plug-in ceiling fan, like how to unwire a ceiling fan and rewire the new one. So uh, yeah. Anyway, so this is my Craftmade Pro Builder. I'm gonna replace it with a with this uh, hip to bay Rockley 2. So, yeah, um, all right, like all the time you have to unplug the fan, make sure it's a, if it's off, so that way you won't get electrocuted. It was, uh, like the reason why I'm gonna replace this because the uh, bulbs are so bright, so yeah, gotta turn the uh, lights on. And all right, now the um, uh, power is off to the now it's unplugged. All right, now first thing you always got to do is remove the blades. Let's uh, now you don't have to take off the globes, but I'm um, now. Yeah, if you want to remove the globes, sure, but I'm just going to keep them on there. So first, we're going to disassemble the fan's blades. Alright. First blade is removed. Set the blade aside. Careful not to lose these screws because I'm going to put them back on there after this video. Alright. Uh, screws are very tight on the fan, so I'm gonna remove these. Hopefully, no one would uh, come in here and talk to me. Or, so, because I don't want to get an interruption on this video. Alright. Now I took out blade number two. Yeah, we got this fan unplugged. All right, gotta do is remove the uh, other blades. That's, yeah, you have to, you always have to remove the uh, fan blades in case, so that way it won't be too heavy. Fourth. I got the uh, fourth blade, I'm at third blade, off the fan. Alright, now, so, got two more blades to do. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get to, but get these fan blades taken off. So 
so hard to get through, but... I now the uh, boss fanboy. Holy crap, this is hard to get to. Five of the uh, fan blades removed. Now, uh, so like I said, I would probably want to let you know, like, to make sure that the uh, fan is unplugged. Yeah. So this plugs the fan in. All right. Now we gotta unwire it. Yeah. We always, we always want to save these wire nuts in case if it, in case if you lose it, we gotta save these. All right, now uh, second wire nut. Yeah, no power at all to this fan. Pick the uh, fan, lift the fan up. All right, that's the uh, old ceiling fan. Gotta put that aside. Next, you gotta bring the uh, Hampton Bay broccoli two. the uh, new ceiling fan all right so I gotta wire this up yeah so you gotta make sure that Alright, we gotta put the uh, first wire nut in, just to make sure that it's very tight, because if it was loose, you could get electrocuted, or it could cause a fire. Alright, now we gotta wire this, wrap it around the fan unit. Now we gotta make sure that, you gotta make sure that the uh, fan would work. Cause, gotta make sure 
that it's very tight. All right, now I gotta plug this in and see if it works. And that's low. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Let's see if the light works. Oh yeah. All right, gotta shut this off. And yes, I will have to replace the light bulb on this. All right, now let's put the uh, fan blades on. This is quick connect to blades. All right, and uh, yeah. If your ceiling fan was on a sweat kit, uh, if it was on an electrical box, you have to unwire the uh, ceiling fan and then put the uh, new one in. Yeah, cause uh, Yeah, all right, second blade. And third blade. And fourth blade. And now the last fan blade. And then you're free. You got the new fan put in. Now uh, we're gonna turn the uh, light on, light in the fan on. And uh, it looks like it's working. All right, this I just wanted to show you how to replace or install a swag kit ceiling fan thanks for watching please like and comment and subscribe and please uh say that you like what's the best so yeah thanks for watching peace out